Welcome to another Geek Moment. I'm Dave Doherty here outside the headquarters of DigiKey, Thief River Falls, Minnesota. And after watching a number of these ice bucket videos, the engineer and me couldn't help but challenge our crack technical staff to come up with something a little bit more high tech. So for you fellow geeks out there, if you accept a challenge, let's make sure that you do it in style. Now who, Scott? is going to describe in a little bit more detail actually what happens here, but I'm just as soon anxious to get this over with, so let's let this baby rip. So the way we're going to trigger this whole thing is through a Bluetooth app on this iPod. We have an Anarin Bluetooth module at the base of the flagpole over there. The Anarin Bluetooth module has a TI Bluetooth chip inside of it, and the whole Bluetooth module is mounted to an MSP430 launch pad. Once I connect to the device over Bluetooth, I can toggle a GPIO, which will close a relay, and apply about 12 volts across a 10 ohm resistor I have at the top of the flagpole, which will burn up that resistor. Once that resistor burns, it will pop a hole in the balloon, and once that balloon pops, it'll release a rubber chicken down the zip line. At the base of the zip line, we have a couple photodiodes, uh, photo sensors uh, with a light beam, and once that rubber chicken breaks that light beam, it'll close a load switch. Now we have a 0.8 farad uh, capacitor bank pre-charged to about 45 volts and once that load switch closes it's going to apply all 45 volts across this tiny fuse wire that we have in place that's holding the bucket in place. And once that fuse goes the bucket will tip and pour all that cold ice water right on Dave's head. Well, obviously that didn't go as planned. It seems the most likely culprit was probably excessive gate capacitance on that load switch. In any case, through a little bit of improv, we were still able to tip the bucket. We still got Dave all wet. Hopefully your project will be a little bit more successful. Thanks for watching. Well, obviously that didn't go as planned. <laughs> <laughs>